Hello, this is Dr. Gabe from First Look MRI, and this is a 58-year-old male with shoulder pain. There's no history of prior injury, and on this examination, we see almost a normal uh, shoulder joint here, and biceps, labrum, things look pretty good, but the main problem was above the shoulder joint. The AC joint was abnormal. We see this really prominent edema within the distal clavicle. We see this periosteal elevation, the joint capsule and periosteum are uplifted here, and really prominent erosive changes in the distal clavicle. And there's marrow edema and chromium as well. This shows up well on the PD fat set sequence here. We can see really light bulb bright type marrow edema, mostly in the clavicle, but also chromium. Erosive changes, you can see that periostitis surrounding it, maybe pushing a little bit down on the rotator cuff below, edema in the subcutaneous soft tissues. So when you see this really prominent um, erosive change and in intense marrow edema, with a lack of other findings, usually this is AC osteolysis, which just means the bone is getting worn down faster than it can repair itself. There's just the chronic repetitive motion at the AC joint. Lots of times these are power lifters or weight lifters, and there's just chronic uh, repetitive stress on these. Other times they can do overhead lifting activities and get this. But um, on plain films, this will look lucent, and so that's why they call it osteolysis in the olden days. We would see lucency of the distal clavicle. But here now with the age of MRI, you can see this intense marrow edema, and the bone is getting resorbed and uh, eroded here. And that's it. So a case of really prominent marrow edema compatible with AC osteolysis.